Y'all, today's episode is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. More on that in a second. Click. We're a little late to the CrossFit class. Let's get over there. I'll tell you more about this in a second. Do -do -do. Da -da -da. Start. Doki. Let's go hit a workout. Let's not hit that bike though. On the road, I can't wait to hit the CrossFit. Close that. There's an opening. Take it. Oh God. Yeah, so I'm headed over to CrossFit's Lake if I haven't explained it yet. I actually coach CrossFit here once a week and I am going to do some fishing later. So let's go ahead and get over here, break a sweat and then get into tonight's festivities, man. It's a bumpy road out here. 85 degrees in Texas. Pretty sure it feels like temp at 90, a little toasty. Might get on a nice little sunset bite. Yee I can feel the burn now. Pretty sure we got lunges, pull-ups, push-ups, and one other movement in today's workout. Oh yeah, last one to arrive, classic. We arrived, class starts now, perfect timing, let's go. Stepping outside because the music, man, 275. I'm pretty surprised. It actually feels pretty good after not doing back squats in a long time. I'm gonna try and get one more. Uh, one rep max is what we're working on today. Might be able to get a little bit more, but I'm gonna stick with this weight, man. No need to mess up the knees. Okay, that wasn't sanity. I didn't take water with me, so. Gotcha. Okay, let's get into it. Marshmallow. I knew you were in here. Why Really wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, way too hot to put a shirt on. So, deal with it for five seconds. I'm gonna tell you what we got in this month's subscription box. You guys can get your first mystery tackle box. That's right, right here. Measuring board and all. Measure your catches, submit them for prizes. You guys can get this thing for as low as $10 with my code in the description. It's Weston, you don't even have to look down there, that's what it is, so just type that in. This month, we get a crankbait. One of my favorite colors, honestly. It's got a little yellow, yes. I would throw this in maybe some stained water. I really like the shallow square bills that this one is right here. You can get away with these in ponds, you can get away with these in lakes, but you're gonna wanna, of course, fish these probably earlier morning versus the deeper diving crankbaits midday in the summer heat. You wanna throw these when the fish are feeding up shallow. Try and throw these around rock, otherwise, just have fun. Next, we've got some, what looks to be, it looks like a cross between a lizard and a curly tail worm. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a lizard. It's like a wormizard. It's like a wormizard. It's like a Charizard, but it's not, hol well, it is holographic. Kind of is holographic, isn't it? First edition. We also have some more plastics. These are Little Green Pumpkin Speed Screamers. Apparently they catch bass. That's what's on the picture here. Durable soft baits. Cool. Next. Ooh! Do y'all see the name? This is the Magic Minnow by Weston. New favorite bait, and then it's three quarter ounce for the whole swim bait. This is gonna be good in probably some clearer water. I'm gonna try and get him through grass. I'm going to try and creep this a little bit slower and lower during the midday heat, and then I'm gonna try and just run it along the banks in the morning time. A spinner bait, boys and girls. This is a classic, that's upside down. Classic on the windy days. When there's a lot of chop, it's very murky or tough to see. Kind of represents some shad, or the whole thing kind of representing a school of shad. Really gonna attract their attention in tough to see conditions. Think stained water, less visibility, or very windy days. So total value of this box, one bait is $9.99, and you're gonna get this whole thing for 10 bucks on your first one that you ever get with my code. So there's no reason not to try this stuff. You literally could like buy this and sell the baits for more money. And we got two. Dude, these boxes are getting better and better with more stuff, I'm telling you what. That's why they upped the charge, by the way. They're actually putting better and more baits in these things on a monthly basis. You guys are gonna see some crazy stuff in these things. If you don't sign up now, then that's okay. There'll be more time later tonight before you go to bed. So we got two Mustad offerings. We have this little guy, this underspin bass. I guess that's like the coloration. And the hook is exposed. So you're gonna have a better hookup ratio than these guys right here with a non-exposed hook. But 
you'll be able to go through more cover with these guys. I've also got some four on what looks to be EWG style hooks right here. And I was telling you there's more and more stuff in these every single month. Let's go ahead and go fish. But I also got to work on today's upload. I literally have it like almost finished. I'm going to try and get every upload at like 6.30 or before from now on. It's probably not going to work, but that's my goal. I want to get these up at a better, more reasonable time for you guys. So hopefully we can make that happen. Don't think I'm going to take a shower. Skate shoes. I think as soon as I get this thumbnail set up, I'm going to actually just grab my skateboard, grab the mystery tackle box and head out. Bathroom time. Come on, Otis. Let's go. Oh yeah. Come on, Otis. I guess not. Ready? Okay then, guess we're going fishing. Check. Well, tackle wall's more cluttered than ever. Just maybe need some terminal and stuff and then we're good to go. Check these out. Got a new pair of these babies. Okay, so I just grabbed four combos. Brought one spinning, just in case we want to throw something lighter on that little on that little swim bait head. Uh, I brought some eight pound monofilament, just in case I need to re-rig the spinning setup because I think it's just straight braid at the moment. Got those pliers in case we need them. And I brought some of my favorite Texas rig plastics to throw on those hooks. Let's get to the water. We have rolled up to the skate park, still a little hot and ooh, the sun is here. I did not bring any shades, but there's a dope Nismo over here. Look at this thing, man. Somebody is not playing around. Yo. Anyways, that's pretty slick. Maybe I should grab my board and start skating. It's been a while. Nothing like heavy squats and then the skate park, man. I bet you this is gonna suck. The place is pretty busy too. <laughs> That's called sketchy. Haven't hit that in a minute. Okay, I'm probably getting lucky so far. It's been a while. I'm trying to catch some fish. Let's hit the water. I'm pretty convinced there's probably nobody who hits this spot because there's really no parking. This isn't really a parking spot, but we're parking here. GoPro, where you at? I'm right here, Weston. Let's go fish. Okay, GoPro. I literally was just thinking, sweet, I brought these with me, but this is gonna be ridiculous to try and open. But look at what Guggen Squad is hooking us up with. The hardest part is figuring out this piece of cardboard. I have never opened a box this style so easily, so fast. Seven inch split ring pliers. You guys can uh, actually get these things at a discount. I got a code down in the description if you care to. You're gonna need pliers, trust me. Getting these hooks out of fish's mouth, uh, cutting your braid and your line and all that good stuff. No better ones than with the GS logo at a discount. So hit it up downstairs, description. With that being said, let's do this. I don't really feel like bringing a lot either, at least to start, so I'm not. I'll bring one box. I just said that. I'll bring one rod. I got a feeling conditions are gonna be very bad. We literally just had a major thunderstorm this morning. I assume these fish aren't gonna wanna bite. Let me just take a look at clarity because I'm assuming it's chocolate milk. Oh, there's turtles in here. Yeah. Next to no visibility. I think I'm gonna start with that spinner bait and uh, go from there. What I do, leave the, the one bait I wanna tie on first at home? There it is. Spinner bait. Tied up. Rod tip almost broke. Tied us the spinner bait. I didn't bring any trailers. That's probably fine. Lower profile. It's a smaller pond. We might get a bite. We might not. We might have to make a move. SLX XT reel. Love this thing for like 140 bucks with tax. Uh, if you want to get into Shimano, it's one of their cheaper ones. Love the fact that I'm not wearing sunglasses right now. Powell endurance rod. Probably too heavy for this. Yep, it's too heavy. It's a 7.6 heavy. I just grabbed a random rig out of the car and I would assume this is 17 pound maybe 20 pound uh, floral carbon. 12 to 15 would be great for this in most places, but uh, that's not gonna deter me from throwing this thing. Let's go. Before I even make the first cast, cause I am curious, what does Bass Forecast have to say about today's bite? Oh, a 6.0. Okay, wasn't expecting that. First cast, chocolate milk indeed. I got a feeling there's feisty little bass in here though. I bet by the time I walk all the way around this thing, See if they're uh, shallow, see if they're deep. I'm gonna go all over the place. I like to cast along the bank and cover some ground first. If I were just stumbling across this pond for the first time, like I am, I would hit all along this wall right here and I would go along that bridge. And then also there's some shade over here already. That could be a hot spot. Otherwise, there's not really too much obvious structure here. 
and I would just say cover this whole thing. So there may not be any bass in here, but never fear. We've still got plenty of sunlight. We will make a move. Just stirred up some bait fish, so that's good. I have just spotted a no fishing sign, which usually does not deter me and could also mean there's some decent sized fish in here, but I'm uh, assuming I may be incorrect. There might not be much of anything in this little place. Let's get out of here. The coolest thing about this spot is literally where the no fishing sign is at. Like there's none facing you if you're on the bank pretty much. There's literally one over here. It has to have been like a fisherman who put this thing up. I'm telling you the residents have probably never even seen this thing. Look, it's way up like, oh my God. Now that's legit right there. <laughs> I mean, it's behind a bush. No one fishing even from the little sit down bench area is gonna see that thing. Like, props to the guy who set that up. We're gonna try these two ponds down the street. Look at that. Literally 57 catches in these two small ponds. I think we can put something together there. A couple of them are actually orange icons, which means they're caught this week. So maybe I'll start at that big pond on the right. And when I say big, I just mean the bigger small pond. Walking up to pond number two. It is actually kind of clear. I tell you what, I think we're gonna make a switch up for you guys. I brought a couple saucy swimmers and I think I'm gonna put it on the back of this guy right here. Similar to the spinnerbait, a little less flash and awkward color for a more natural presentation and this clearer water, which I think will draw more strikes. Let's see what happens. Also, you probably won't get a million GoPro batteries when your box. I just brought those for you guys. Can't film if you can't film, you know? Mustad, ultra point. And I don't know how the saucy swimmer is gonna look on this thing, but I don't know if the fish will mind either. I've seen worse. <laughs> Other swim baits might be a little better pointed to this thing, but we are gonna roll with it. Dude, this thing looks stellar. In the water, this actually looks like it's gonna get munched. Oh, fudge. I see it too. Got it. Oh, wow. That was a close call. Gotta watch out on wires with exposed hooks. How do y'all like this audio right now? I bet this sounds great. Introducing Weston Smith. I've had enough, let's switch it up. All right, I'm now going with the second Mustad offering. I'm gonna throw this hook right here with this bait right here. This should legitimately catch fish like anywhere and everywhere. So delectable, weightless, watermelon red flake color. You almost can't go wrong. If I don't get anything on this, it's just not our night. It's not our night, but it is your night because you can still save on this. Get your first one for 10 bucks, code Weston. Guys, I see these little grass pockets. That's what I'm trying to get close to. You want to kind of sift through there. This thing is 100% weedless. The hook is back inside the bait, Texas rigged. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be getting in all this stuff. Find the grass, find the bass. That's what I've been told before. Let's go try this other pond. I got a good feeling actually, because this water is actually flowing down into the next one. Oftentimes a feeding ground. Anytime there's any little insects or even maybe little bait fish that get swooshed away down there, those bass are ambushing. So this could be the ticket. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. This is the bites. I know we haven't caught anything yet, but how can you be upset when you're carrying around happiness in a box, man? We're gonna finesse down even more. I don't wanna miss any bites. A little smaller profile, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit on that uh, hook that came with the box. Weightless, I mean, this, this is a done deal. This little pocket right here, right? You see that? That hook is not really exposed. See, that hook is right there, so you can get through cover much better. I've been out of town with Lunkers TV for the last week, dude. I don't even remember what I've been throwing spinning gear this whole week. I was gonna say, I assume sunset's right now, and yeah, it's in six minutes. I probably still got a half an hour's worth of light. This slam is just going great. Okay then, let's try the crankbait. I got a feeling that they're gonna eat something in this box. Just haven't found out what it is yet. Tonight's gonna be a good, good. I think that we might lose this. Bet we get snagged and lose it. Bet we get snagged and break it off. Burnt through some line tying all these things on tonight, haven't I? Be nice to enjoy some of the fruits of my labor. What if they just wanted to crank this whole time and I'm about to catch like seven right here, right now, before sunset? Well, it is sunset but right here, right now. You never know what's gonna work until it works. Anyways. And by the way, if we catch on this thing, it is exactly the reason why you need to save yourself on these pliers and get those things because uh, you will run into some sticky situations when you catch bass on treble hooks. Sometimes it gets crazy. If you don't have pliers on hand, let me just tell you it's not good for you or the fish. Tell you what dudes, they're not wanting the crankbait either. I think we're gonna have to go and resort to the last bait in the box. I'm excited. It has come down to this. This is gonna be it. You know what? It's the bait with my name on it. But I'm pretty sure this is the last bait in the box. We are about to slay, slay with the Western bait. Yo, I'm pretty pumped actually. 
So aside from those soft plastics, probably the most realistic looking fishy bait out of the whole deal, man. Like if this doesn't get eaten, I'm so surprised, so surprised. I'm throwing this for the remainder of the evening. It's gonna get bit. Little pre-swim check. Oh God, body roll, tail flapping. Okay, it's done. What do you think? You think we give them just what they want? You think we cast towards the, you think we cast towards that and swim it out? Just what they're expecting. This, oh God, what a swoosh. You can't tell me I'm not about to get latched on to. Oh, he had it. Oh, first fish of the night. Oh my God. And where was I with the hook set, Weston? You dummy. Look, I'm an idiot. A bass just had a hold of this thing. Oh my God. Okay. But the Weston swim bait is what's going to get it done. Okay. One last idea. Okay. We're here. Oh my gosh. I know. Light is fading. Most people are probably giving up already. And here I am at another spot. Oh, back squats. Okay. Why could there not have just been parking right here? Let's go. I would say we probably got enough light for about five to 10 casts. Come on, Weston swim bait. Getting on them tonight? Uh, just a few, how about you? Uh, zero so far, but I've been at some small little neighborhood ponds, so. <laughs> Figured I'd give this, this one a shot. That's for sure, that's for sure. Well, y'all, I've tried it slow down in the grass. I've tried it pretty fast up on the surface, and now I'm almost like popping it like a jig or a Texas rig, kind of just scurrying that little swim bait along the bottom through the grass. Um, one or two more casts, and then we're gonna have to call it. Well, y'all, we are back, man, here in my garage, but I'm not Ty Lopez, and I cannot get a mystery tackle box slam done to save my life, apparently. I literally could not catch them on one bait, even the western bait, but I'm telling you what, I'm gonna leave that thing rigged up and probably be throwing that a lot. I'm very excited to have gotten something new in my box that I actually really enjoy throwing, along with everything else in there. I assumed the crankbait was gonna slay. I figured the lizard would slay. Maybe it was that I wasn't getting out deep enough today. Maybe it was there was a storm last night. Maybe I could come up with a thousand more excuses, but you know, it's all gravy. We live to slay another day. Also guys, we cannot thank mystery tackle box in enough for the continuous support over here on the channel. If you guys want to give this service a shot for yourself, you can get your first box for as low as $10 dollars guys hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with us we had some fun we did some new stuff let me know down below if you want to see more content like that where you know we do things like ah, spur of the moment hit the skate park we went and hit the little crossfit workout and i'm just rambling on so i'll just see you guys on tomorrow's video peace <gasps>